There's a lot of talk about how meditation is good for your blood pressure and your nerve endings, even for your chromosomes. But that's not the best use for the meditation. The best use for the meditation is what it does for your mind, your experience of happiness, your experience of pain. Because it's only by seeing how you're creating unnecessary happiness that you're creating unnecessary suffering. <laughs> You've got some unnecessary happiness, too. Yeah. Um, <laughs> the unnecessary happiness is the one that causes pain. It's seeing how you create all this pain for yourself and then learning how not to do it. That's the skill in the meditation. As for the side effects in the body, those are, those are fine. But the real question is how you experience your own mind, how you experience the actions in your mind. That's where you want to maintain your focus. We're learning about the body from within. We're learning about the mind from within. What they're measuring from outside is of interest to them. But your main interest is how you're doing with each situation as it comes right now, what skills you bring to that. They've got brainwave machines that can calm you down. But if you can't calm yourself down without the brainwave machine, okay, you're in trouble because you can't be hooked up to that machine all the time. You want to learn the skill of how to get the mind to settle down from within, without any outside help. Now, in the beginning, you may need some help, like staying in a comfort comfortable, conducive place like this. And whatever other crutches you may need in the beginning, but as time goes on, you want to be able to learn how to throw those crutches aside. So it's just you walking on your own wherever you go. And you've got the complement of skills that you need. Right here, right here inside. So keep that in mind that what we're working on is how we're experiencing things from within. and how you can change that experience from within. Notice how you're manipulating it. Notice how you're fabricating things, and you're seeing where you could do it more skillfully, showing a little imagination in not letting yourself get into ruts. That's when you can depend on yourself. It's one of the reasons why the Ajahns don't explain everything. As they say, if everything gets handed to you on a platter, you never learn how to fix your own food. So you want to learn how to use your ingenuity to figure out what you're doing inside, what you're doing right, what you're doing wrong, and how you can encourage the right and abandon the wrong. This is all an internal affair. <laughs>